Eight only on six. We're seeing body cam video showing the arrest of the Uber driver who was wrongfully jailed back in May. Now, he has since been cleared of all charges. New Six's Jerry Askin joins us live tonight. All new at six. And Jerry, you have been following this case now for months. Yes, and Madam Lisa, as you all can recall, um, Jose Batista spent seven days behind bars here at the Orange County Jail. You're about to see that body camera video where uh, Batista said multiple times to deputies they had the wrong guy. Meantime, today, the, show, the Orange County Sheriff's Office uh, said they did the best they could do to verify the warrant and verify Jose Batista's ID based on info they received from South Florida. No, that's not me. <laughs> We're getting our first look at body camera video worn by Orange County Sheriff's deputies back in May when Jose Batista was arrested for a faulty headlight. Deputies checked his license and turns out they said he'd had an active warrant for aggravated battery from South Florida dating back to 1996. Have you been arrested before? In Miami? Ever. Ever. I got, a, I got arrested in 97. For what? Huh? For what? It was a, a simple assault. But Jose told deputies he did his probation for that arrest, and he wasn't the same Jose Batista they were looking for. In fact, he even said he's been mixed up before for the wrong guy. The same thing happened how long ago? Uh, back in 2011. News 6 did a series of stories, later finding out deputies arrested the wrong guy. We shot this video when he was released after seven days behind bars. The FDLE told us someone in Miami attached the wrong FBI number to Jose's case. You can even see here where deputies tried verifying the warrant and even found the red flag. Yeah, it was validated this year. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The date of birth is only going to say it's off but they're trying to confirm it. Because Did they promptly seek to confirm the identity of the individual? Did they chase down this information and make sure that they had the right person in custody? Attorney Stephen Kramer said he's seen these cases before. He said it raises big questions on if there was enough done by law enforcement here in Orange County and down in Miami and the jail where Jose was booked. If he's fingerprinted upon being booked, shouldn't his fingerprints have come up different from the Mr. Batista that should have been arrested? Yeah, and again, prosecutors have since dropped the charges, as you mentioned, against Jose Batista. Uh, we're still working to get a response now from the Orange County Jail. As for the Orange County Sheriff's Office, they got back with us today saying, again, they um, did what they could to try and verify that warrant and verify Jose Batista's ID based on the information from the warrant given to them by South Florida. We're live in Orange County at the jail. I'm Jerry Askin, News 6. Jerry, thank you.